The Bible says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understandings. In all ways, trust in Him and He will guide your path. And uh, in a journey of recovery, it's really important to have a trustworthy guide, somebody who has your back, somebody who won't let you down at all costs. Um, and that's, you're hard pressed to find that in this world because everybody has limitations. The only one without limitations, the only one who loves you unconditionally, the only one who is capable of doing that is our Heavenly Father. The, the amazing thing about trusting a Holy Father is that you don't have to worry about the same limitations that we have with our own parents on earth that they have bad days and it can negatively affect your day or their guidance um, they might not be able to talk to you right then uh, you know we're we never ever ever have that where we're not calling out in desperation and repentance and a desire to make a connection with God on his playing field, you know, it, not our own. And that's really what was so humbling about my experience in recovery was that for my whole life, I was trying to create the playing field. I wanted to create the playbook and um, God allowed the players, you know, to come into my life. And each player had something to teach me. Um, this morning, I had a revelation about, you know, where there's a break, there was a weakness. And that spoke so loudly to me because I didn't break, I didn't develop um, this condition, you know, because I was strong, healthy, mentally sound. I had pushed everything to the limit. I was I was in no shape at all to be making plays, to create a playbook, to design what was going to be happening. So I had to really get on my knees, literally, I don't mean just in my heart, I mean literally humble myself and tell him that I was willing to do whatever it took so that I could recover and you know at the time I had no idea what that meant but he is a gentle and kind God one that I, I knew deep down existed because I, I remember early on you know my my teens um, or even my early 20s if something good were to happen I would say oh thank God you know um, and he had made me realize that even then, he wouldn't allow me to walk in hypocrisy. Um, I wouldn't go to him. I, I knew I was walking my own path. So when, when it hit the fan, um, when the chips were down, I, I wouldn't go on my knees. I wouldn't ask for his help because I knew that I wasn't doing my part. And that submission, that humble submission that I came to, that I was brought to so gratefully, that led to my recovery from, from this condition, um, well, it gave me freedom and allowed me to see that it's not my own path that I could ever possibly make, ever possibly make straight. Um, I can't dictate what happens in my future and you know what I'm so short-sighted as far as my my um, ability to see you know what what could happen in the future even with an analytical mind you know you will run loops run in loops but he's sovereign and that's what I knew in my heart I just, I didn't feel worthy of him. 
And I think that a lot of people relate to that. They're angry, but really, if you boil it down, we're not walking his path, the easier, gentler path. We are um, trying to run our own show. So I just wanted to leave you with wise words, and they're not my own. It's trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. That means go to Him to understand. Go to the Bible to understand. Ask Him for guidance. And if you trust Him, not with some of your heart, not with some of your life, but with all of your heart, all of your life, He will guide the path and He will make the path straight for you. So that's what He's done in my life and He'll do it again. That's my testimony.